Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech, where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today I want to show you how to brace copper like the pros. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. And today's video will be straightforward, but to give you all a quick background, we're going to begin our lesson with what is brazing. Brazing, by definition, is a metal joining process in which two or more metals are joined together by melting and flowing a filler metal into a joint with the filler metal having a lower melting point than the joining metal. In this case, the joining metal would be copper and the filler metal would be the brazing rod. Brazing is a common technique used in the HVAC industry as it creates a gas tight seal for refrigerant tubing and can withstand high temperature and high pressure conditions. For small joints under 1 inch, an appropriate torch tip and map gas is possible, but in the industry we use acetylene. This is an MC tank containing acetylene and this is the smallest available size on the market. Acetylene is often used with other gases such as oxygen or nitrogen depending on the application, but today we will be using only acetylene as this method is most commonly used. To begin our demonstration, we're going to start by cutting our pipe down to size. When you cut copper, you create these things called burrs and they must be removed. This is a deburring tool and this is used to shave off those burrs. Next, we can sand down the outside of our pipes and the inside of our fittings with the abrasive material of your choice. After we have sanded down our pipes, silver brazing flux is recommended, but the rods with phosphorus content are actually self-fluxing on copper but I strongly recommend using flux when joining unlike metals such as copper with brass. Before we light our torch, the idea here is to heat up our copper and use the heat from the copper to melt our brazing rod and not the flame of the torch. This brazing rod melts at 1500 degrees. I like to bend my brazing rods at a 90 degree angle so I can get around corners. Our pipe is now prepped and we can begin to light our torch. Light it up. 
important to let the braise give itself time to settle down and cool off. Applying a wet rag too soon might compromise the joint. Be sure to inspect your joint all around to make sure there's no holes or gaps. And that's what I call a beautiful thing right there. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.